Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tom with The Strength Agenda, talking training, hopefully dropping some knowledge and answering all of your questions. Uh, today we're talking about the most like optimum way to train or the sweet spot as I like to call it. We get asked a lot about how we train here at The Strength Agenda. Um, and again, for those of you who know me, I trained at MDUSA and at Cal Strength under Glenn Penley. So a lot of my knowledge, a lot of my experience comes from those days. So the one big thing, if there was one piece of advice or one tip or one this or that that I took away from working with Glenn, it was how the, how the body adapts to change. And the one thing that he told me, the one little nugget that I, you know, I'm going to keep with me till the day I die is that the body receives physiological adaptation at the range of 80 to 90% of your best in whatever lift you're training that day. A lot of people know that we would go to heavy singles. Didn't necessarily mean max out with Glenn, but it was going up to a heavier attempt. And I was struggling one day with Glenn. I was having a really hard uh, day of training, wasn't making many lifts. And he walked up to me, asked what percentage I was at. And I told him I was at like 83%. He said, all right, you're done training, move on to the next movement. When I asked why, that was what he told me. He said, the body receives physiological adaptation at 80 to 90% of training. What that means is whatever lift you are working on that day, whether it's a hang snatch, whether it's a power snatch, a snatch pull, whatever, and it says heavy single, the goal of that day was to work up to 80 to 90% of your best. Now, keep in mind, your best power snatch is not the same as your best full snatch. It's not the best same as you know a hang snatch or any other variation of the snatch movement. You are working in 80, 90% based on that variation. And that helped out a lot because if you were having a really bad day, you just work up to at least 80%, maybe hit one, two, three reps at that range, and then move on to your next movement. If you were having a good day, you push that envelope a little bit, try to get closer to that 90%, maybe even pushing outside that 90%. But regardless, as long as you were getting to that 80%, your body was adjusting and making adaptations to those reps that you accumulated. So as, you're, as you go through your training, the goal was to build consistency in that range. But as you built consistency towards the upper end of that range, you would get closer to hitting PRs. Most likely if you competed in a meet soon, you would end up hitting a PR. Then once you've done so, your reps will change. So. For some athletes, this is easier to do than others because when they see heavy single or they see anything along those lines written in their program, they automatically think max out, but they forget about all those reps leading up to that heavy single or whatever lift it is that they wanna hit. So when you see heavy single on your board, try this out. Just write down what your range is between 80 and 90%. Try to get to there first and then let your body dictate where you go from there. Um, some people kind of call this auto regulation. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day, but just give this a shot. Let, listen to your body, let it dictate how your training goes. Focus on getting to that range, focus on building consistency in that range. And then you will start to see a lot better efforts in everyday training. And when you step out onto that platform, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, go ahead and mark those below. Feel free to check out our Instagram and our Facebook page, and we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.